like a lot of you, well, you know, it is birthday time, so you are going to be getting a lot of communication, a lot of messages. But I do feel that um, for those of you who are going through any type of like accepting new job offers and things like that, I, I want to, you to just really read the fine print and, you know, comb it over with like a fine, go over with a fine tooth comb if you need to, because I, I feel like there is, um, I don't feel like deception or anything like that, but I do feel there might be, yeah, if, especially if it pertains to work offers and things like that, you want to just be very, very careful. And, um, you know, just look through contracts, legal issues. Um, I feel like this cunning energy surrounding you, and I don't know for sure if it's coming from you or from other people around you. It might be other people. So... Yeah, it, it might be other people, and then you're kind of like rushing straight into it. Um, I don't feel there's anything bad associated with it, but you just want to, you know, be careful, okay? Especially if you've been applying for work during the Mercury and retrograde last month. You just want to be extra careful about this situation. It are very, very positive. The cunning energy is not somebody that is, you know, lying to you. I, I don't feel that. They're just kind of... Um, they're just, it might be, you know, like omitting important things, for example. Um, for example, they, they might tell you, oh, um, by the way, this job is amazing. You get, you know, paid like 100000 a year and you have like, I don't know, two months vacation and you have all these perks and all these benefits. What they don't tell you is that you're going to be working around the clock. You're going to be traveling like every week. So it's just like something like that is kind of being left out of the equation so it's like lying by omission and um, they're not revealing everything so that's what I'm sensing and I feel like it's usually it's a work it could very well be a work situation okay <clears throat> the other thing that um, is coming through very strongly is um, I feel like a lot of you might have a proposal for a work internship training program some type of training where you're working under the supervision of somebody else and there is a um, financial windfall associated with it as well so financially you're going to be in a very very good place so if you have had financial troubles it's definitely coming um, it's going away and even some type of financial windfall is coming through to you as a result of your hard work in the past and also as a result of other people so this is a very very financially stable stable month for you um, just make sure that you know whatever is coming in is not going out just as fast so curb your spending because I, I do feel some overindulgence here when it comes to spending but aside from that you know you definitely can manage this situation and overall financially it is a very very good um, month for a lot of you so stipulations when it comes to contracts and, you know, whatever is um, exchanged between you and another party, be very careful and read between the lines, okay, because we ha have a situation where you are, like, excitedly rushing into it, but um, I feel like it's, maybe it's your birthday month where the sun is in your constellation, so you have some protection, and you're going to be just fine, but um, be very, very careful when it comes to, like, car issues, speeding, and once again, I am also getting, you know, possibly, like, some kind of law enforcement situation where you're caught speeding or running a red light, and then you have to do some type of community service as a result to get the points off your... You might have to go to class. You might have to do some other things to get the points off your record. Uh, with the chariot like this, I feel like, I don't feel like it's an accident, but I, I do feel speeding is greatly indicated, okay? So once again, it is a financial cost if you have to pay a speeding ticket. But I feel like some spe uh, there are some stipulations here that will let you get away with it. But just make sure your spending is not, you know, out of control for this month, okay? Don't drink and drive. It's birthday time, so you might be prone to that. Take a take a cab. It's just the responsible thing to do. Okay, so be very very careful about driving, drinking, mixing the two, and just with the, the car. Try to minimize, you know, driving as much as you can. So that's um the overarching energy. And um, the other thing that I want to say as well is that um, for a lot of you. Um, if you are in a relationship, 
and you know things are going very very well and you're in a stable relationship and I, I do feel that um, relationships are going to be greatly enhanced for this month and um, overall things look very very good where I do feel that you are coming across as somebody who's very capable who's very confident and um, who you're not flip-flopping anymore and I feel like last month you were kind of like indecisive this month you're taking control of your life and you're moving things in the right direction so you you exude this really you know uh, desirable strong charismatic uh, trait about you and I feel like people are flocking to you overall relationships themselves I do sense that for those um, who are in long established relationships I, I feel that at least there's going to be some type of discussion when it comes to possibly pooling your resources together because I, I'm sensing here this is you know all the things the pentacles are basically all the things that you work really hard at accumulating this is money in the bank this is uh, projects you're crossing off your list as you go along so this is like achievements and someone else is coming through to offer you, you know, a share of their, um, I guess, the products, the, the product of their labor. So some type of um, possibly you pulling your resources together with another um, romantic partner if you're in a romantic, stable relationship. So I definitely feel like um, relationship problems are not going to be problems anymore, you know, on the heels of this month. I definitely see it's a situation where two people potentially coming out of financial hardships and coming together in a way that is really uh, touching. It's it's almost like, you know, this is like two people cast out when it's in the reverse position. I usually read this as overcoming a uh, major, major hurdle in the progression of your relationship and becoming, I guess, uh, rather than letting the hardship drive you apart you're coming together and and your relationship becomes fortified as a result of it so you're not working at cross purposes with each other anymore there is like a, a sense of forward movement in the same direction so I feel that for a lot of you you know forward progression momentum is always good for Aquarius because then it keeps you active it keeps you moving and it keeps you you know optimistic if you stay stuck in one place for too long you start you know cycling through uh, that mental energy where you overthink things and then life becomes more messy and jumbled up and confusing but as long as you're moving as long as you have those checklists and, and things like that then it gives you more of an impetus to um, get things done and be more high functioning and to be more productive. So this is a very productive month and you know um, get projects off the ground it is a really good time for you to manifest the things that you want in your life because the sun is and also that first moon of the, the, the month is going to be in your sign as well so you know get things manifest things um, ask for things that you really want and you know try to work hard and I feel like it's a very very uh, stable month about achievements as well same with Capricorns but I do feel on the emotional front um, I do sense for those of you who are specifically involved with an air sign there's some type of you know coming together possibly taking a trip together with an air sign like a fellow air sign so this is um, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. There's, if you've had conflict in the past, if this person has been, you know, kind of abrasive, or there might have been miscommunication in the past, all of that is clearing up. But I do want you to tread very, very carefully with a fellow air sign, because I feel like, you know, like I mentioned, that cunning energy with the high priestess in the reverse position on top of the air sign. Make sure you yourself are very upfront and honorable and that you are communicating truthfully okay um, there's a smug energy associated with this so if you're dealing with an air sign it could come from you or them or vice of uh, like from both parties make sure that you communicate effectively and to um, address those really important issues you know so don't skirt the issues address them and try to yeah it's greatly about partnership so I feel like it is a romantic more of a romantic partnership so you want to balance out you know the the communication aspect if you are dealing with um, 
a fire sign and this is you know fire signs are this from the Sun card this is greatly about you know fire so I feel like for those of you who are dealing with fire signs Aries Sagittarius Leo's I do send some type of communication coming through and um, that could be related to work as well or it, it just communication where it can restore balance and equilibrium in your relationship so things are kind of like whatever went awry last month things are starting to like autocorrect and writing themselves so it's um it's a nice very very stable energy and I feel like it's conducive for per forward movement if you are specifically dealing with an earth sign I feel that for a lot of you dealing with an earth sign so this is Virgo Capricorn um, Taurus I feel like a lot of you might be dating Capricorns because air signs were showing up all over for Capricorns um, if you are dealing with a um, a Capricorn I, I just want you to be very patient with them or earth signs in general just be very very patient with them because I feel like they want to help you and they're trying to reach out but it seems as if the timing might be an issue or it's just you know like you're occupied with many 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 things you potentially are very occupied with many many suitors and you're missing out on this opportunity to engage with an earth sign so I feel like they're kind of like behind you like I'm over here look at me and your attention is like you're distracted elsewhere okay so make sure you carve out enough time overall whoever you're dating make sure you carve out enough time to be with other people to celebrate not only your birthday but to celebrate the union and the love that you have with one another because I feel like um, all the people around you are kind of like scattered all around you and your focus is so singularly on achievement and forward movement and individuality okay so this is a card greatly about self achievement and I feel that you know the other per people have helped you or they they are around when you need them and in this month you're you're trying to like um, be the loner and I feel that it would be better for you to establish those connections to um, take it easy on the work front and try to celebrate and spend your time with the people around you who are in your periphery because I feel like it's all work 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 and personal achievements um, I do sense that you know it is birthday time so we do have the wish card in the upright position and um, this is a, a great thing but I, I do feel that you know the the nine of cups is a minor wish as opposed to like the star the star denotes more of like a long-term major major event something that you've uh, really worked hard for in the universe is rewarding you in a way that can make things very very smooth and very stable for you in the future when it comes to the wish card it's sort of like um, you know wanting to wanting that one really attractive person to ask you out on a date or wanting to have a chance alone with you know um, just wanting like a, um, something like that is instant so you want to be careful about this energy be very very careful about what it is that you wish for and I know that sounds cliche but um, I'm going to say that you have a lot of power um, th th your power of manifestation is quite strong coming in for this month so you want to use it well and you want to as well be truthful in all your dealings okay I feel like there is that cunning energy and I do sense for like a um, a minority of you so I would say like about 20 30 percent which is actually a lot but it's still a, a smaller chunk of you that I feel like the cunning energy is coming from you so if you you know are like dating multiple people and um, you're being smug about it if for example you're dating multiple people and for some reason they don't know about each other I, I do feel that you want to be careful okay um, karma does exist and it will come back to haunt us so you know try to get this birthday for those of you who are doing that just think about this it is your solar return and it is your birthday month and we know that we want to go out and have a good time and you know to have our cake and eat it too but this is the intentions that you're setting for the rest of the year 
it starts right now in the month of February. So you want to just, you know, do the right things because you're setting intentions and you're manifesting things for the rest of the year. So while we want all of these things, we want opportunities to overindulge when it comes to other people, it's really important for you to just, you know, try to be truthful and honest in all of your dealings, okay? So that's the, the thing here. This is basically, you know, um, creating the karma that you want for yourself for the rest of the year. And I don't want it to sound fatalistic, but we make choices every day. So you want to be the best you that you can be and make the best choices within your power whenever possible. Okay, so think about that. And, you know, I'm going to leave it at that. I don't want to sound preachy because um, I trust that you know what you're doing and that you will always aim to do the right thing because I feel that there is temptation. There is temptation. But um, I feel like even last month the temptation was coming through. And I feel that for this month there are going to be communication from a lot of people who want to, you know, be around you around your birthday time. So there is temptation coming through. And I, I feel like you might be in a situation where you are conflicted. And, and I feel greatly, you know, it is a, the chariot is a card about inner conflict as well. Overcoming inner conflict in order to achieve a victory. So this is mind over matter, okay? Thinking about things on a more philosophical and a more karmic level rather than succumbing to like carnal desires, for example. This is also about, you know, not seeing things as clearly black or white, but seeing the nuances and the gray areas in between. And, but on the contrary, it can be about, you know, making right or wrong decisions because you're an air sign and because you came up in the reverse position. You know how um, a lot of the times you know when something is definitely wrong, but you're just like, yeah, but if you start to rationalize it, then you can make everything into like a gray area. So this is about, you know, actions and consequences. So you want to be very clear about not trying to rationalize what you feel, what you really strongly believe is wrong and try to make it okay so that you can, you have the, the um, I guess the absolution to do it. So just be really, so that you're absolved from the guilt when you do something wrong, when you try to rationalize. So just keep that uh, energy in mind. You are a very intelligent sign and I feel like you can rationalize and make everything right. But, um, it's not about that. It's not about using our intelligence to, to distort or twist the truth. It's about being truthful in the first place and ha having, you know, that sense of moral integrity because I do feel that for a lot of you, you might grapple with ethical dilemmas. You might grapple with, um, you know, just um, like I said, it is the, the solar return when the sun is back in your constellation. So you want to create opportunities um, to build up your world on good karma. So I'm going to leave it at that. I definitely feel a lot of suitors coming through for you. And I feel like, you know, for some reason, um, multiple suitors, dating multiple people is strongly indicated here with this Nine of Cups, as well as a little bit of deception coming through. And um, the universe is handing a lot of things out for you. Um, in abundance as well. So you, you have financial windfall and you have, you know, the emotional happiness. So a lot of blessings are coming in your way. So just make sure that you take up these blessings and, you know, manifest and, and create positive things out of them, okay? Um, in terms of career track, I definitely feel that a lot of you, um, if you've been wait, sending out, like, all your resumes and there's definitely a job offer coming through. That is going to alleviate your financial worries, okay? So you're going to have a really amazing uh, time with this new job situation. It might seem like just, you know, um, a minor job, but I do feel there's a lot of growth and expansion and potential as a result of it. Um, I do want to say once again, be very careful when it comes to driving very recklessly. Minimize driving. Like I feel like ice, snow, slippage. So just be very careful about that. Um, and also like frustration. Frustration. If you are dealing specifically 
if you are dealing with, um, you know, just like new people, I feel that you're on the right track when it's the new people, okay? If they are new people, and that means you've never dated them before, you couldn't have known them for like years, but you've never, you know, messed around with them, you've never had a fling with them, you've never dated them. New people are fine, and new people is, um, is the direction that you want to go when it comes to dating. If you're dealing with like old people from the past, old energies, old lovers, and things like that, it's a little bit problematic and just try to let it go because I feel that that cunning energy is coming in from the old people and you know they they feel like they haven't been around for you know the past few months and then all of a sudden they decide to come back and try to woo you with some sort of gift for your birthday and you know you so you get all caught up in it again so out with the old in with the new so if you are dealing with new people new relationships and things like that you have the green light Okay, if not, you're going to encounter blockages and it's not meant to, to be. So just let it go and bring positive things into this brand new solar cycle with you because that's where things are meant to be and that's where the past is, is you know, gone. So start this year off in the right direction. Build stable foundations for yourself. And think about this as, you know, it is very important for you to identify right and wrong, black and white, you know, lies and deception. And just be very clear about that because I feel like you're in danger of rationalizing yourself or rationalizing situations and getting yourself to do things or talking yourself even into doing something that you feel under normal circumstances you feel is wrong. But for some reason you feel like, oh, uh, I can do it this month. Everything will be fine. Well, it, it might be fine this month, but you are building up that, you know, um, shaky foundation if you do that so just keep that into perspective all right Aquarius I do hope you have a wonderful birthday